Despite a decrease in access to information requests this past fiscal year compared to the previous, the Information and Privacy Commissioner Andrew Fox said that responses still couldn't be delivered on time. The main reason being not enough employees. When Department of Justice took over uh, responsibility for a lot more of the work for all those other public bodies, uh, they didn't put much more resources into it either, and I, I don't know that any of the public bodies contributed some of their resources to the Department of Justice to staff up that office well. So the act changed, the rules changed, uh, maybe uh, by creating more oversight uh, made things a little more strict. But it doesn't seem that anyone really asks themselves the question, well, why is it taking so long? Because I think the, the obvious answer would be, well, you don't have enough people doing the work. MLA Kate Reed said some jurisdictions are looking at monetary penalties for late requests and asked Fox if that would help. He said they may not be the right solution. It's a possibility. I mean, the whole idea behind putting penalties onto activities is to deter uh, that activity. Um, I personally am not that convinced that AMPS would, would help much because um, you're talking about a government finding itself. Fox acknowledged that MLAs on the committee have limited actions, but hopes his message will reach those who have more of a say. The Access and Privacy Office has not seen an increase in staff since taking on its duties in 2021. The ATIP Act is up for review within a year and a half. Jocelyn Chappelle, CBC News, Yellowknife.